Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. It's a drinking fountain. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It doesn't matter. Well, what do you want then? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. Why the hell should I? If that matter, why should you? Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? I just want to know a little bit about Joanne. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Wait a minute! Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Yeah? 
Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acting just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks, she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright. Just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I'd better get home. This is getting bad. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Right. No more interruptions. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No. What's... I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Here, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. See ya. So, um, 
How are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah, usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I notice these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. Go get it!